Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. This is lesson three in a series of short lessons. In this video, we will focus on how chords are made. In our last lesson, we ended on the D scale. We're gonna pick up there. Remember, the D scale is made up of the notes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and then D again. And when we begin our discussion on chords, it's important to know the scale degree of each note within the scale. So we're gonna give each note a number within the scale. So we'll call the note D number one, E number two, F sharp number three, G will be number four, A will be five, B six, C sharp seven, and the D at the top we'll call eight or one. Now the D scale consists of seven chords, each built off of the seven notes within the scale. So if we start on the note D, we can build a chord, a D major chord, by going D, moving up to the third scale degree, F sharp, and then up to the fifth scale degree, A. D, F sharp, A make up the D major chord. Likewise, if we start on the E note, the second scale degree, we can build an E minor chord by going E, moving up to the fourth scale degree, G, and then the sixth scale degree, B. So E, G, B make up the E minor chord. Chords are created in this fashion using each successive note of the scale. So you end up, as you move up the scale, with three different types of chords. The first chord, which occurs on the first scale degree, is a major chord. The second chord on the second scale degree is a minor chord. The third scale degree creates a minor chord. The fourth scale degree creates a major chord. The fifth scale degree would create a major chord. The sixth scale degree is a minor chord. And the seventh scale degree is a diminished chord. The two most common types of chords are major and minor. And they each occur three times within a scale. So now we're gonna look at another key and build chords off of each scale degree. To keep things simple, we'll work with the key of C. Now as we move up the scale, we'll use inversions of certain chords so that within the span of the key, we're able to create chords within one octave. The important thing to keep in mind are the notes which make up each chord. So if we remember back to our lesson on scales, we remember that the C scale is made up of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C again. Now if we assign a number to each scale degree, we end up with C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, A is 6, B is 7, and the C at the top is 8 or 1 again. So starting on the first scale degree, we're going to make a C major chord by playing C, going up to the third, E, and then up to the fifth, G. So C, E, G make a C major chord. Building a chord off the second scale degree will give us a D minor chord. We have D, go up to the fourth, F, and up to the sixth scale degree, A, D, F, A, make a D minor chord. Building a chord off the third scale degree will give us an E minor chord. We start with the third scale degree, E, go up to the fifth, G, and up to the seventh, B. We end up with an E minor chord with E, G, B. The fourth scale degree will give us a major chord. We'll have F major if we build a chord off of F, the fourth scale degree, go up to the sixth, A, and then up to the eight or the one, the C. That gives us an F major chord, F, A, C. As we begin building a chord off the fifth scale degree and higher, we're gonna have to start using inversions to stay within our octave. So let's start with the fifth scale degree, G. This will give us a G major chord. We go up to B, the seventh scale degree, and then we would go up to the second or the ninth scale degree, the D, but we're gonna grab the one from below, and that will give us a G major chord, G, B, D. The important thing to remember with inversions is that it's not a new chord, it's just the same notes of the chord arranged in a different way. So a G major chord, G, B, D, is arranged as D at the bottom, then the G, then the B, to help us stay within our octave and we'll learn more about inversions in our next lesson. And moving on to the sixth scale degree, we can create an A minor chord with the sixth scale degree A, the eight or the one, C, and then it would be the tenth, or we're gonna grab the third down below, the E. So an A minor chord, A, C, E. Okay, now let's build a chord off of the seventh scale degree. This is our one diminished chord within the scale. We're gonna start with the seventh scale degree, B, then we're gonna go up to the ninth, or what we're actually gonna use is the second down below, that's gonna be D. 
and then we're going to use the fourth F. So a, D, a B diminished chord is B, D, F. And lastly, just to demonstrate our inversions, we're going to build a chord off of the eighth scale degree. We're going to make a C major chord. So let's start with that C at the top, and our next note in a C chord would be E, or the third scale degree, so let's grab that from down below. And then we have the fifth scale degree, G. So again, a C major chord is C, E, and G. Here it's arranged in a different inversion, but still within our octave. And we hope you enjoyed lesson number three. All this information and more is available in our book, A Piano Chord Book You Can Actually Use, which is available on our website at thepianochordbook.com. And please check out lesson number four, where we will discuss chord inversions. Thanks, God bless, and see you next time.